Okay, guys, I'm back. There was a power outage. Guess what? My last save point was before you talked to Adelie at the alchemy about her army crap. As in, I had to do everything over again. I had to witness the scene with Ovon again. I had to do the quest again. Blah, blah, blah. So I got all the way back to where I was before by smoke screening the death. Yeah, fuck leveling. I'm gonna smoke screen this place. So I'm a lot weaker than I was, so it really pisses me off. Yeah, fuck this place. This place has pissed me off. Let's just get the fuck out. Enough's enough. I want to know what's going on. You saw what Sirius was like? Yeah, it was kind of odd. Was he always like that? It's your... Hmm? Ever since he became the Demon Palace's Emperor, Sirius has been acting weird! He's acting... weird? Sirius... He has decided to no longer come to Ricolo. It's such a tragedy. He was always so proud of how he used to perfect his skill in the arena. And now he... <laughs> <laughs> All of you are slaves. That's what you get for attempting to steal it. <laughs> Ever since he decided to pair up with that wing guy and that naked guy, he's completely lost his mind. It's funny how they call him a naked guy. Come to think of it, Pi mentioned that an Ida signal had been reported at the Holy Palace in her email. Could... could Sirius have been taken over by Ida? Like Endrance was? Then there are the other two who were with him. What about them? The winged guy and the naked guy. Could they be the same ones that were together with Triage on the Ida server? Sirius and I, we used to love to argue whenever we saw each other. He was always so hard-headed about everything, and I would never be honest about anything. That day, the day I lost to you in the tournament, I just didn't know what to do with myself anymore. All my confidence and bluster was just for show. Just the thought of fighting you again made my legs shake and my head spin. My throat would even go dry. I didn't even know why I'd lost. I just didn't want to experience that kind of humiliation again. The notion of becoming emperor again seemed almost absurd. That's why I told Sirius that I wasn't coming back to Ricola. What do you think you're doing? That which I wish to protect is the only faith worthy enough for the attention of the Emperor's throne. And all of the effort and bravery that is required to defeat a strong opponent, that is my purpose and my pride. There was once a time when you were still to stand back. 
what I had built up, and had forgotten all the things that had been important to me, like me, faith, and pride. It was only Hold on. that I lost you. Cassio, I need you to help me. Okay, you... Please, I need to talk to Sirius more than anything. I need to know why you've been acting like that. He'll never listen to me if I just approach him straightforwardly. There's nothing more I can do on my own. Sirius was always particular about fighting in the arena. If I can make my way through the tournament to get to fight him directly, I might be able to find something else. Please, please, Hazel. Please, enter the tournament with me. Uh, I'm sure we can fight our way to the top if we enter together. I guess I'm asking too much. Yeah, I, I know I am. I'm sorry to trouble you, really. Forget I ever said anything, okay? Well, that's all I wanted to say. Uh, hey. Oh, that's right. I'm gonna let you have the treasure box. It's to make up for my obnoxious request, okay? I'm sorry. I'm sorry I pulled you into this. Look, just forget anything I said earlier, okay? See ya! Hey, when's the Holy Palace tournament? Huh? If we fight our way through the tournament, we might find out why Sirius started acting strange, right? I fail! And don't get the wrong idea. I'm not doing this for your sake or Sirius's. Huh? If the reason for Sirius's change of heart is Ida's influence, then that winged guy and naked guy must be... Epitaphs call Ida, and Ida calls Epitaphs. Yeah, just like Ovan said. It's all fixed. 